Assalamualaikum and good morning to Madam Azila bin Anwar. Today, our group will present about urban horticulture in our top of building. Our group member, me, Muhammad Fakhruddin bin Muhammad Fari, number 3, 23DLH, 19F1029, Ahmad Aymanul Hakim bin Zulkifli, number 3, 23DLH, 19F1021, and Abdul Rahman bin Zulkifli, 23 DLH F10 16. 4.2.3 Urban Horticulture in our top of building. Urban farming is the practice of cultivating, processing, and distributing food in or around urban areas. Aquaponic, the pesticide free farming system that combines aquaculture. Growing fish and hydroponic growing plant without soil could be the way forward to re redevelop the many empty shop lots and office building in the country. Aquaponics is a soilless farming technique that allows fish to do most of the work by eating and producing waste. The beneficial bacteria in the water will convert waste into protein nutrient rich water and fed to the soilless plant while enabling the growth of many varieties of vegetables with indoor temperature condition aquaponic could also generate fish production sustaining economic life food particularly for the underprivileged and disabled community as well as fresh graduates who are struggling to secure a decent job Willing and enabling the growth of many varieties of vegetables with indoor temperature condition. Aquaponics should also generate fish production, sustaining economic livelihoods, particularly for the underprivileged and disabled communities as well as fresh graduates who are struggling to score the schedule. The Sunway Future Farm, Kerugabong Bangsa and Urban Hijau for instance are good urban farming in in activists in the city centre of Kuala Lumpur. However, there are still many potential states that could be informed into urban farming. This photo taken on 7 September 2020 show a staff member trading to a rooftop garden used for urban farming to close edible plants. As it only requires a quarter of the size of a traditional farm to produce the same quantity of vegetable, the vertical rooftop system would yield more than four times compared to the conventional farming at the same time. It also reduces the need to clear land for agriculture use while avoiding price fluctuation. Besides reduce, beside reducing overall lines of one important and cutting carbon emission in the vertical farming within the existing carbon within the existing building also allow local food production as part of the supply chain. The owner of this farm can also conduct workshops and demons as well as offer guided and educational tours that promote the that promote the joy of urban farming. With urban farming structure inside a building, stress out work, stress out office worker and the elder in particular could enjoy a good indoor environment, a quality and well ventilate, ventilated indoor space. They could also relax their mind through the gardening and walking around the urban farming.
the advantage of urban farming with the proof crop grown in controlled environment, year-round crop production, normal seasonal, normal seasonal crop, continuous production, continuous production, no running out of land, indoor, grow, indoor growing conduction eliminate the use of chemical pesticide, environment environment friendly, no soil or new land require, increase yield, production produce the same yield as a traditional four until six acre farm, water con water conservation, hydroponic uses seven. 50% less water. Uh, this is the example of green building that I use uh, renew renewable energy, solar system, and, uh, and wind turbine. Farming system, they use aeroponic, hydroponic, aquaponic, and aquaculture. That's all. Thank you.